Good day, this is Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger 2.0. Today is October the 18th. Uh, I just want to apologize. I actually uh, kind of forgot to do it yesterday to do the video. I usually do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, but I kind of slipped my mind. I was really busy doing stuff, so I kind of forgot. And that's not a good excuse, is it? <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're looking at the pound yen. And we'll just go like that. And we're on the third day. This is Wednesday now, so this, this is where it opened. It's a mess, as you can see. Um, I also tell people in my uh, you know, videos, the Forex Pipsnagger 2.0 trading videos, you know, once you, uh, you know, decide to give it a try, that, you know, it's it's not always going to work on certain time frames. I've stuck to basically the 15 minute now for quite a while because it was doing some nice little trades. But once you see it, this is what I say in my manual, is that in the video, once you see it start to chop up and down and go nowhere, where they just basically buy, buy and sell, and buy and sell, and buy and sell off of support and resistance, you need to move to a higher time frame, okay? So, anyway, if you did do a trade here on Sunday, okay, um, right here, you would have drawn a line, okay? It broke through it here, it came back here. So if you bought here, it didn't go nowhere. And then it came down and you lost on that trade. Okay? Then, like I said, if you lose on one trade, usually you just leave it alone. If not, you try one more. Okay? If you win on the next one, then, okay, hopefully you'll cover your loss and, and uh, make some pips. So anyway, you would have got short right in here. Actually, there's such strong support there. Right there, okay? It would have to break through there and come back up. By then, it's too late by then, you see? So, this was, it was not a good trade. And then, once again, this never gave the gap. We got the gap here to sell. But look, look, look what's going on here. They're just basically buying off the support here. It would have been a disastrous day. If you would have done a second trade, you would have lost. We've lost two times in a row. That's how bad that day was. Okay. Then we go on to yesterday and same thing. After seeing this mess like this, you know, you know, I move the line down like that. Look at that. You're not going to buy in there and anywhere in there. Okay. Now, but it did break through right through here. Now, if you didn't sell here, well, it went up and it gave you a loss of 10 pips. Okay, if you would have done the next trade, which is over here, it went down 50 something pips, you would have covered your loss. Okay, now today, take that, I'll scroll off. You would have waited for it to clear through here. It did right through here. You on this pullback right here, you would have bought it. And it went up 48 pips. Your stop would have been 31. You would have got your one to one here today. That's it for the pound yen. Now, the pound, okay, I think it looks a little better. But same thing, it basically chopped through here, just like the pound did. Okay, but uh, right here, you drew a line like this, finally broke through here, came down. If you would have bought it here, Went nowhere, came down. If you would have waited, you would have got out right here. You would have lost about 15 pips. Now, if you would have went short here, okay, it went down 50 pips. You would have got your you would have got your 15 pips back, and made a few pips. You know, there's 50 pips potential. Then today, uh, we broke through this support, this resistance here. You would have bought right here. It only went up like 31 pips. Your stop would be 20 pips, so you got your one to one. The second trade would have been right here to sell it. Went down 77 pips with a 55 pip stop. 
today again once again we got short right here after it broke through this support your stop would have been here and they would have hammered your stop okay with the news that happened here now on the yen it's been so choppy on the yen I've moved up to a higher time frame and that's what I was saying about on the pound yen well, if it looks like like hell right like all this chop you move up to a higher time frame once you start to see it clear up that's where you trade that time frame that's what I tell you in my manual so anyway on the US dollar yen we had a sell trade right here okay from last week and 100 pips stop and it went down 79 pips and now it's changed direction again it's on its way up okay so basically, you still don't see the gap here yet. Okay, there's no gap. You know, it looks like it here because we made it bigger. This is the the, the actual uh, size that you need to have your, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> you know, your, your zoom in and zoom out. This is the size that you need from the template. If you increase it, you're going to increase the gap size and all... Everyone's going to look like the right gap size if you increase it. So it's another part of my manual where you don't increase it. Okay, so we're just starting to get the gap now. If it pulls back in, then we buy it. And then gold, okay, it's our star of all of them because it likes the trends, okay? So here, here it opened up here. Um, you wouldn't have bought it even though we went through this resistance here you wouldn't have bought it here it was too close to the top there's no buy trade up there you're waiting to sell it because it just went all the way up here you're always looking to sell from a high and a buy from a low sell from the mountain peak buy from the valley okay so right here cleared through all the support you would have got in right here in the pullback uh, on Monday, you could have made 100 pips. If you held on yesterday, you could have made 197 pips. And today, we're still holding on. You'd be at 200 pips right now that you'd be making. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this Forex Pips Negger 2.0 video. If you haven't uh, picked up your copy yet, I urge you to uh, click the link below this video, and you'll be on your way to making lots of pips. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.